So guys, it's Cool Story Bro, and today's video, I've got another unboxing, and it's an official Apple product. And as you can see, it's the Magic Keyboard. Now, this is the biggest keyboard I've ever had from Apple. I've always been with something like this, really small, so it's easy to type. It's got everything that I really need. This one is an official full-blown keyboard with everything that you need to actually work your iMac as best as it can actually be. This cost me $138.99, basically all together $139, which is a good kind of price, but kind of steep for what it is. And this is the official one, as you can see, the beautiful Apple logo. And focusing for you guys, there you go. Space gray, as you can see, and then it says that as well. So I managed to actually get the cellophane off. Not hard, it was quite easy. And I'm really sorry for the actual damage on the box, as you can see in the corner. It's because it's been in my backpack, and I didn't actually, thought, I, I thought it would be like nice and everything, but then I just actually shoved it in. So it's kind of my bad for actually doing that. You just basically do this, like look at this. This is like, wow, look at that. This is beautiful. It's actually, see what it looks like with both of them actually there look at that beautiful right see this is the first gen apple keyboard and you can actually see the keys have got like an up to them as you can see right now this is the new magic keyboard they've got a kind of a bit up to them but not as much so when you actually press them that is the mechanism working which is really, really nice. I'm gonna give an example. So when I press roughly the same button, when I press the same button on my Magic Keyboard, you can see that there's a lot of more feedback. Now they're all made out of beautiful aluminium. As you know, Apple is always using aluminium for their products and it's a beautiful, beautiful design, I've got to say. With the Magic Keyboard, it's a beautiful aluminium, but in space gray. On the side of the first Apple Magic Keyboard, you can see there's nothing but this line. And you're probably thinking, does this line line up? It doesn't. How do you charge it up? Where's the USB? There's no such thing as the USB. It is a kind of, a mechanism that Apple like find it really, really awesome. But the only problem is you had to have a penny to actually open it up to actually put double A batteries, which was kind of annoying because they last for a long time. But when you run out of charge, you can't actually charge it up by USB. With this one, on the other hand, you've got this beautiful button to actually switch on and off USB port so you can actually charge it. This lasts for a very long time, just like the trackpad. And if you turn it off when you don't use it, you can probably get about two to three months out of it. It's an amazing battery inside this. Really, really awesome. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm actually going to set it up with my iMac and to see how you actually sell it up and to see if there's any customizations because I think there's quite a few. There's not as much as the trackpad, but it's awesome as you can customization so you can actually customize it as your very own. So let's get to setting up with this Magic Keyboard Space Gray. So I'm back and this is how you actually set up the keyboard, the Magic Keyboard. So basically when you buy one, of course you might do it like me if you're a YouTuber, but of course you wanna open it and you wanna see if it works. With Apple in the related of the computer area, it should work. This is how you do it. It's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is basically go to system preferences, like so. And then you wanna go to the keyboard. And then you want to set up a Bluetooth keyboard. Now what you wanna do, you wanna go at the back and you wanna click on the switch. And then you wanna wait for a few minutes and then you should see it, the magic keyboard. Okay, then you wanna connect and then it should say connected. Now, the good thing is, I was right, it has a lot of battery in, which is awesome. So this is the battery level, as you can see, 77%, and then you wanna press done. You can actually change the way you're actually using this keyboard in your style. So like it says, if you do buy a used one and you're probably thinking, oh, this is not working right, it's because the settings, you need to check the settings. 
So because this is a brand new one, they've actually set it automatic. So as you can see there, key, key, repeat, delay until repeat. I don't use this, but I really want to use this because like, here's an example. You put O, M, W and it says on my way. So you can actually customize or you can actually delete them if you don't need them no more, but you can actually add so many, which is awesome. Shortcuts, you can have shortcuts to different menus, applications, accessibilities and stuff like that. Display. Import sources, as you can see there, mine is the British and the Canadian English. And then you can actually have the dictation it allows you to actually talk when you press the button, a certain button, customize it on this video. So I'm actually going to have it as, I guess, if I can have it as this button. So I love it as that button. That's a pretty cool one. It's really nice. And then that's it really. There's not much customization on the keyboard side. On the trackpad, it's more of a customization, but on this one, it's kind of just a keyboard, you know? So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm actually going to test the violin and what I'm gonna to actually use, if I can find it right now, reminders, that's right. I'm gonna be using my reminders. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually going to be calling it done stuff, okay? So let's say in my place okay so take out the trash feed my my cat enter really good i'm just gonna mess around with this to see how awesome this actually is it's like straight line on a, on a normal on a normal keyboard and then on this one it's like diagonal which is awesome so it gives you the beautiful type and text so that's pretty cool i love this so if you are doing a lot of like if you work in a bank or you're doing something to do with estimate or, or cash, anything like that to actually, if you're saving up for a new mortgage or a new house, new car, then this is the way to go. What's up guys? Cool story, bro. Yeah, I feel that really nice connection with the new mechanism, which is awesome. I might just leave it as that. I've shown you how it, how you connect it to your iMac or MacBook, and it's it's just amazing. It's just really nice to actually type on. You know, you need to go in a, a local Apple store, like so you can test them on on the on the new iMacs or on the MacBook, so you can actually test it to see how it is. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoy. Any questions? Let me know, and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. And thank you for subscribing, and thank you for supporting this channel. Hopefully you enjoy my future content.